Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Sagittarius. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. I've done your reading today with the Animal Oracle blended with the Good Tarot. So you're going to see a mix of the two decks in your spread today. Sagittarius, we have um, here to begin your reading the Four of Fire, the Four of Wands. Um, interesting energy. This card is just coming through lately as being just really happy, really happy and content. You seem to be just in your own energy, doing your own thing, completely kind of just preoccupied with whatever it is that's in front of you and feeling really fulfilled and content within that is the energy that's coming through here. Sagittarius. I actually noticed today that this figure well, she's playing a musical instrument, so it's like you're engaged with something that's really just bringing you a lot of happiness and peace. But what I noticed today about her, she's kind of got this halo around her head, which is just, it's not coming through the camera very well, but it's just kind of, it's just kind of expressing to me this real peacefulness. You're just in this really peaceful, contented, happy place, doing your thing, not really reaching, not really searching just content in this moment um and then the dove energy swoops in behind you so what this is talking to me about for you Sagittarius is that there's something approaching you that you don't see coming but it feels really really good it really is a match to you in this happy place that you're in right now I mean the dove This dove is actually really pink. It's got a lot of pink in it. It's kind of, there's a lot of just really happy, pink, happy energy today, but it's swooping in. Hold on a second. Monster. Come on. My kitty. So you've got this energy swooping in around you, Sagittarius. There's somebody... There's somebody about to approach you when they approach you. It's coming through that you're not going to see it coming. It's a complete surprise to you and it's going to be a really big energy. But really welcome, really happy. It's a good match to you, right? So again with this um, page of air and the two of earth talking to me about you. This is you, Sagittarius, just being... It's like you're really coming through as a really grounded energy today, just kind of moving through your everyday life, dealing with everyday life, dealing with, you know, whatever comes your way in the moment and just being kind of content in the current manifestation, no matter what stage of the process it's in with this two of earth, implying that you're kind of at the beginning of a, you know, a journey, a manifestational unfolding. It's like you're just content within it. Maybe you kind of, you know, you see where it's going. You've got everything you need and you're just happily working away. But again, this page of air is this, I'm seeing it as this kind of, it's landing. Like this bird energy is this swooping in. They're, you know, they're both kind of birds or angels or, you know, kind of just swooping in and landing. But it's landing behind you. It's almost like it's already there. It's already landed. It hasn't quite, they haven't quite made their approach yet, but the energy is already there. The energy is already in your vicinity and you haven't caught on to it yet because you're so focused on what you're doing, right? With Messenger of Air and the Ace of Air coming out next, just more of this delightful energy of it kind of sneaking up behind you, Ace of Air. The Ace of Air talks to me about, you know, this this messenger of air is actually starting to tell me that you're you are getting a little bit of a of a hint. There is there is a change in the wind that you're starting to notice. It's like you're about to turn and engage. You're about to it's about to come into your awareness. But it's almost like it's gonna sweep in. And make itself known before you really get a chance to turn. Before you even really get a chance to register that something's going on. That's how it's coming through. It's like the, is this even worth, if is this even worth dissecting here? 
it's kind of like you're just starting to get a hint of something. You're about to turn towards it and then it sweeps in anyway. And the Ace of Air I'm always talking about is like a massive sweeping change like the tower, but really positive, a positive, uplifting upgrade. So um, with the bee spirit and the beaver coming out next, they're both talking about work, really. I mean, all of your energy is talking about work in a sense. Well, the ace of, I mean, sorry, the four of fire starting here may not be particularly about work, but the two of earth, the beaver, and the bee are all talking to me about your work life. Um, so this is kind of starting to point towards a professional change coming in, perhaps a professional, uh, like a promotion or upgrade in your work. It doesn't have to be, but with all this bee and beaver energy, it's kind of leaning that way for me. The bee says sweet results await. And the beaver is talking about foundation, like working hard. Like I said, it's like you're you're just diligently working away at building something and it's it's not even necessarily close to completion but you're completely can, content even just focusing on the foundational laying the foundational elements at this time because it's like it's almost like Sagittarius you well whatever the work is that you're doing is just really fulfilling to you and so you're almost not even having a goal or a destination in mind it's like you're just you're just you're just content to be doing the work the beaver kind of comes through as well as this as this four of wands kind of comes through as a bit of a, a like a hobby or a craft because i see this i see this beaver is knitting with the sticks there it's like so maybe this is just talking about that you have a real um a new hobby or craft that you're really enjoying and you're get, kind of getting lost in it and being content within it but the b card is bringing in another level here with the b energy because the b to me is very multi-dimensional and energetic so it's talking to me about especially because whatever this is that's coming in is also you know it's very airy and energetic and swift moving it's light it's air so there's something about this B that although the work that you're doing is very grounded and and three dimensional, it's very it's very pentacle heavy with pentacle energy. This B is adding another dimension to it for me. That's talking about that there may be something going on in the work that you're doing that you're not even completely aware of. It's like the B going from flower to flower, you know, pollinating, but it just focused on that task at hand and not realizing the kind of the impact of the work that's being done not really being focused or, or caring about that so much just really delighting in the in the in the work itself right but there's something going on energetically or multi-dimensionally like at another level that you're not focused on that is really drawing this this energy towards you. This is this is the element of it that has caught their eye, that they're activated by. So that's another reason why it may be sneaking up on you. In fact, the bee is behind the beaver, which to me is talking about it being outside of your view as well. There's something about what you're engaged in that you're not even aware of. There's there's an energy dynamic or something. There's something in the work that you're doing that is causing an impact that you're not perceiving, a far-reaching impact perhaps. Maybe it's it's outside of your immediate vicinity, perhaps. The wasp and the pig coming out next. Interesting because the wasp, well, the wasp connects to this bee here, of course, right? It's this interesting story coming out here. This wasp card is always always looks to me like a brain right? Forget the wasp. The wasp kind of just connects it to the bee. So it's kind of this multi-dimensional energetic 
thing. With the pig talking about use your mind wisely, there's something here about, about the cerebral realm, about, about your mind. But with this pig here, this, this pig being kind of a piglet, like a really young, a young energy, I feel like there seems to be something going on, Sagittarius. You're doing some kind of work that is being witnessed by another. This king of fire is witnessing what you're doing. And you are almost innocent to the extent of your genius, something like that. It's like you're in this, this piglet energy, just kind of working away, diligently content, in, and, you know, focused on what's right in front of your nose and not realizing that it's like you've got this swirl of multidimensional magic flowing from you, at least in, in this one's perceptions. They look at you and they see much more, a much broader picture than you are. Like to you, you're just, you're this, you're this beaver, this pig energy, just, just happily working away, really contentedly working away. But when they look at you, they see this, which is talking about, like I said, something to do with the cerebral, maybe you don't realize that perhaps what you're doing, sh you shouldn't, it's like the position that you hold within within your workplace, you shouldn't be able to produce the kind of work that you are. Something like that. It's like, it's like your genius is showing and you don't even know it. Because you're not reaching for anything like that. You're just doing your work. But there's somebody here who has an eye for, for that. Who has an eye for some particular attribute that you're displaying without really realizing you're doing it that to them is looking like a masterful it's much it's there's much more going on in their perception of what you're doing than in your perception so that's another reason why it's kind of it's like sneaking up on you because you you it's like you don't even realize you're doing it It's like, I'm thinking of my daughter right now, right? Like she's in grade one, but she is a reader. She's, she's been reading since she was four. So she's now in grade one and she's reading, you know, at she's like the, the 10 year old level, something like that. She's way beyond her, her classmates, but she doesn't know that she's just doing her thing. She's just being herself and doing her thing. But you know, of course, when the educators observe her doing her thing, they, it's really apparent to them, right? Like she shouldn't be able to read chapter books yet, but she is, and she's doing it because, because it's, she loves it. So there's something like that going on here. It's like, you're just engaged with something that you love. And this one's coming along, realizing like, whoa, do you realize what it is you're doing here? And you're kind of oblivious to it because you're just focused on what you love so what's coming in here is that this king of fire is bringing in something is bringing in a change for you it's like they 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 see you you're activating something in them that they're moving towards you very swiftly with some kind of a a proposition, a proposal, a promotion, an upgrade, an offer of some kind that is feeling really good to me. Everything in the cards is saying that this is a really welcome thing for you. Although you're not looking for it, when it does finally come in, I think that, that you're going to embrace it. You're going to welcome it. Um, but with the antelope spirit and the four of water coming out next, it's talking about whatever this is, this four of cups that's coming towards you. It's, it's going to cause a lot of change, a lot of fast change in your life, quick moving change in your life. It says your life is about to speed up. 
it's talking to me about, I see this antelope as um, almost on a carousel because there's, there's another one coming up behind it. So it's only, I'm seeing like a carousel with the next, and like this one's going to move and then the next one emerges and they just keep going around. There's something about what this King of Fire is bringing to you that's going to liberate you from that carousel. It's going to open up a, an enormous amount of possibilities and potentials for you because you're not confined to the carousel anymore. It's like, it's like your work, your craft... Your position, whatever it was, has only been within this realm and you're being it's being completely opened up, like unlimited because of what this this king of fire is going to offer you. That's why it's this big sweeping change. That's why it's an ace of air energy coming in that's gonna cause a lot of it's gonna speed your life up because you know, with the Four of Cups, the Four of Water, it talks about being really focused on the cups that you already have. But this new one that's coming in is a big deal. It's a big deal energy. This is a big deal energy, whoever this King of Fire is. And they have a lot to offer you. They may be actually pulling you, out. you may be offered a job somewhere else. It's like they're pulling you out of out of where you are and out into a much more expansive. I think they're going, clearly they're going to point out to you what it is that they see, which in itself is going to expand your, your awareness of your own inherent attributes and gifts that you may not have re fully realized. So that's going to open up a whole new world for you. They seem to have something to offer you, like a, like a new job. They're, it's like they're saying, come with me. And where they're, they're wanting to take you is a big upgrade from, where, from what you're experiencing now. Like I said, it's like you're at this two of pentacles, two of earth stage. You're kind of just at the beginning with this pig energy too. Like I said, it's kind of this juvenile just meaning early in the early stages of whatever it is that you're working on or focused on it's in the early stages and it's like this one's coming in to kind of jump the line you're going to jump the line fast track that's the word I'm looking for they're going to fast track you into into I mean it's it's fast tracking it's going to feel to you like fast tracking but it's like my daughter if she were pulled out of grade one and put into fourth grade in a sense, it's fast tracking, but it's really, you know, where she's, she's better matched to that, to that place. It would be good for her. It would be, it's good for you. It is a, it is a leap forward, but it's, it's bringing you into a, a place that is more matching to your abilities, right? So it's, it would be a fast track for others who don't have what you have. So I'm going to continue to pull cards, Sagittarius, see what else we can find out about this. If you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box. And if not, I will see you next time, Sagittarius.